It's It's Way Up. Roland Martin is guest hosting today. Chilling. Yeetie time. All right. So Diddy Combs, one of the accusers in a sexual assault case, can no longer remain anonymous. According to a new filing that people obtained, a judge ruled that Jane Doe, who claims that he and uh, her, that Diddy and Harpierre, along with a third unidentified man, sex trafficked and gang raped her when she was 17, must include her real name in court documents if this case proceeds. Now, this all came after Diddy's side argued they will suffer prejudice as a result of the proceeding anonym- being anonymous while their identities have been revealed. I totally understand, from a court standpoint, why you want to give um, a woman protection uh, in this case. But you, we also have to recognize that when you make these type of allegations, it can have a negative impact on somebody else's career, even if they never even go to trial, even if they're never even convicted. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I do believe that you you have to face your accuser. And when you're getting attacked publicly and we, we know that how many the, the people who swam, woman filed a suit against Snoop, remember, right mm-hmm. before the Super Bowl? Yep. And it wasn't true when Chris Brown got hit as well. So there have also been false suits filed. Yeah, it's a, a tricky situation because it also may discourage somebody if something is true. If you don't want, that's what makes it difficult, right? There's right. so many women who have to deal with things and then they don't want to have to put their identity All out the there. attacks, things like that. Mm-hmm. But again, the in, but, but the individual who's being accused, the reality is, I don't care if you don't like them or not, they also have, have the right rights. to defend themselves. Yes. All right. Well, the court decided that Jane Doe did not have more specific support to maintain her anonymity. So uh, that is, if this proceeds, we'll know who it is. Yep. All right. Jerry Jones is ordered to submit to a DNA test. There's a lawsuit that a woman brought who call Mari. She is his daughter, 27 year old Alexandra Davis, and um, yeah. So she feels like she doesn't want to have to hide her truth or live under the thumb of fear and she wants to get some peace and she hopes other families will have that same benefit uh, from the judge as Cha-ching, well. Jerry, cha-ching. We shall see what happens. Okay, and um, Terrence Howard has been ordered to pay $900,000 in back taxes after saying it's immoral for the U.S. government to tax descendants of slaves. Say my, say my. Cut that check. Listen, the taxes, <laughs> as far as being immoral, I don't think the government cares. Uh, yeah, uh, and I'm sure Wesley Snipes and Ron Isley going, Terrence, um, pay up, bro. Pay up. Yeah, so the Justice Department has sued him, and the actor, uh, Terrence Howard, his only response was a voicemail that he allegedly left on the phone of the case's lead tax attorney in November. Um, so we shall see. Oh, hold on, hold on. But this, he left and, a voicemail yes. with the IRS. Yes, he did. Boy, allegedly. He, boy, you come on, Terrence. <laughs> uh, Terrence. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've seen this go wrong for a lot of people in the past. Like go to jail. Yeah, Wesley Snipes was, I think, one of the ones that we all always discuss. And you know what? Speaking of Terrence Howard, Jesse Smollett has completed his five-month outpatient rehab program. He is now preparing to come back to Hollywood. And so um, his team said he's now focused on his comeback. He's gearing up for the release of a new movie as well. I wish Jesse and other entertainers would maximize, learn to monetize their audience and not have to wait for Hollywood. Utilize digital channels. Utilize your YouTube channel. Drive your music. You can do your own movies. There's a way to it. That way you're not waiting for somebody to say, okay, we'll welcome you back. Mm-hmm. Well, he was just talking about monetizing that Facebook. You know it. You know it. All right, now, Funny Marco. Man, he just took a picture with Lala at the BMF uh, screening, and he posted, fellas, you can shoot 100 shots. All it takes is one. Hashtag BMF. And then he posted a DM. It's me, Lala. I just wanted to see if you could let me take you out one day. I know you be busy. I be hella busy. So let me know so I can pick a time. And Lala was just on way up. And here's what she had to say about Funny Marco. But the thing is, the guys who do make the effort, sometimes we overlook them. Mm -hmm. Like Funny Marco. (laughs) He made some effort. Okay. He made some effort. He he sat down with you for a couple of hours. He did. He DM'd you. You left him on red. I did. I did. You know what? <laughs> funny Marco is so funny. Everywhere I go now, that's all people want to talk to yeah, me about. They're like, cute. are you going to give him a chance? Are you going to go on a date with him? But you know what? I appreciate his effort. So that's He's a yes. Put, so, I didn't say yes. But I said I appreciate his effort. 
She talked about that boy like a fifth grader <laughs> say, will you marry me? That, that, that was the tone in her voice. Like, oh, yeah, it was an effort. Well, the tone in the interview was also funny like that. Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Was, so I get it. <laughs> but, but, but we know he ain't got no shot at all. You never know. It'd Angela, be the ones, it'd be Angela, the ones. this ain't Birdman and Tony Braxton. <laughs> People would have said no to that, too. That boy ain't got no shot. All right, we're going to see. We're going to see. No, uh. and, and that is your ET. When we come back, we have Under the Radar, <laughs> the stories that are perhaps flying under the radar that you should know about. And you know what, Roland Martin? We're going to do one of these uh, front page stories today because there are two things happening, two hearings for Trump today, one in Georgia and one in Florida. We want to hear what you have to say about it. Hit cha-ching. Let us know. It's Way Up. Way Up.